Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to see if I can recover some of this filament that a viewer sent in. Um, they commented on one of my filament drying videos saying that they had some PLA that was just impossible to print with, maybe it was waterlogged, we'll see. And um, I'm going to dry this out and we're going to test printing, so let's do that. So let's get down to some basic facts. 3D printing uses filament and it's a plastic and that plastic can absorb moisture. Any amount of moisture in the filament is going to negatively impact your prints. So you want that to be as dry as possible. Some filaments will absorb more moisture than others. Um, nylon, flexible stuff, those like to absorb a lot of moisture. PLA doesn't generally like to absorb a lot, but over time it will absorb and it will become very brittle and difficult to print. This is exactly the type of filament that uh, my viewer had and they sent this in to me I'm going to dry this out and then we're going to test printing with it to see if that improved the printing at all. Unfortunately, I don't have enough here to do a before and after print. This is all they sent me and this is not even enough for a Benchy. It's just enough for a calibration cube. So I'm going to do that and we'll see if 12 hours in the dehydrator can recover this filament. Let's go do that. I've had the filament inside my Print Dry Pro for about yeah, 10 to 12 hours now. You can see I've got it set to 55C and the actual inside temperature is somewhere around 48 or about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So this has been running for a while. Let's load it up in the Prusa and see how it prints. And here you go, a couple calibration cubes. They're not perfect, but they're pretty decent. Uh, you can see the X is nice, no ringing, the Y, Z. The uh, white one's just a little hard to show up on camera because it's well, white and just very reflective. Um, there's just a little bit of, um, I don't know, nubs in the corner, just um, inconsistent filament diameter is probably my guess. Um, I didn't really mess with this too much, but yeah, everything looks pretty much what I would expect. Um, no issues with printing whatsoever. And I'm actually printing a Benchy with whatever's left of this. So it'll kind of be a two-tone Benchy. So we'll see what that looks like. But yeah, I've got no issues whatsoever with any of these. Look at that. And here is the lovely two-tone Benchy. As you can see, it printed. And it printed yeah, reasonably well. Um, here is the underside. Here's the bow. Man, kind of no real issues. There's a couple little zits and blobs here and there, but um, generally it printed just fine. And if we look at the filament, what's left of it, um, here's the kind of brown bronze. Look at that, perfectly flexible. Um, it's not snapping, it's not breaking, it's not brittle. Um, it is, you know, like normal filament. And the white stuff, um, same kind of thing. Um, this wasn't nearly as brittle as the other one, but yeah, both of these are perfectly pliable and not overly brittle. So I will say it once again, any amount of moisture in your filament will negatively impact your print. So it is always a good idea to dry your filament, get it heated up, get the moisture out of there, and it will improve. I live in Colorado. This is one of the driest states in the nation, and it can still benefit from having dried filament. Even a brand new spool filled with desiccant package, you can still dry it and get better results out of it. So yeah, hopefully this gives you a better idea of why you would want to have dry filament. Down below in the comments, I have a link to the Print Dry Pro, which is what I use for drying all my filament. And of course, I have a link to a simple dehydrator if you want to go that as route, um, go that route as well. And I also have a link to my original drying video where I kind of explain things a little bit in more detail. But I think this um, pretty definitively shows that you can take filament that is just terrible and not even worth printing with, and you can end up with filament that prints perfectly fine. So. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, check me out on my Facebook page for any updates to my channel and check out my new Instagram page for more little um, projects and photos and things like that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.